Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. Uh, as you guys may have noticed, um, I'm back at it again with the long hair. Enjoy it while it lasts because I'm gonna get a haircut, uh, I don't know, maybe in the next few weeks. But anyways, uh, today I kind of wanted to address, um, I guess, what exactly happened while I was, uh, you know, missing an action for quite a while, especially on Discord. And, um, well, I kind of already, already briefly mentioned it, that I was depressed and, um, you know, because, well, I firstly hurt my wrist, which stopped me from doing anything um, productive, which is kind of like my main cope with life. And then after that, because I was just like sitting down all the time and not really doing shit, um, well, my back started hurting and that made me plummet into even deeper depression because as I've already mentioned, I feel, um, well, I, I fractured my spine, my T7 vertebrae specifically, and that fucked me over. And this is a while back, maybe like a few years back. So during that time, uh, that was probably the most depressed I've ever been. And ever since then, my back has never been fully the same um it's a lot better now i don't have the weird like electric pains or like i can actually like bend my back forward and backwards like during that time like i can barely um like move my back so i basically had to just like stay still and then that was probably the most depressed time of my life and my lower back started aching and like i had sort of like similar like weird you know like feelings in my lower back so it just kind of made me paranoid and depressed that you know my back is fucked it kind of like just brought me brought back those emotions those you know those uh i guess and those thoughts those stories those i don't know whatever that uh, well you know those stories in my head that you know like i'm fucked and like my back is never gonna be the same i'm basically disabled i'm a cripple and you know I'm never gonna, you know, not feel anything in my back ever again. You know how like when you're young and um, you basically don't feel shit in your back, but as you grow older and you stress your body out, then you start to, well, you know, you start to notice things aching and then you kind of wish like you could go back in time and, you know, be in a state where your body basically doesn't feel anything, but I'm rambling. Um, because of this, I was really depressed and um, yeah, so I was too depressed to really do anything, even go on Discord and interact with people. I had basically zero motivation, zero willpower. And um, well, this caused me to, um, well, basically enter, uh, you know, a Eldar lay down and rot, um, you know, mode. I basically activated Eldar mode and I um, basically became the most, you know, useless human being possible. Um, uh, all the, all the self-improvement stuff, you know, I'm not even that good, like, at, um, I'm not even that good at keeping, you know, consistent with a lot of things, but there are things that I do pretty consistently like exercise and you know i guess kind of make videos although i'm pretty inconsistent with that but like i at least make like a little bit of music every day and i practice a little bit of guitar but all that basically went out the window and all i was doing was um basically uh you know watching television shows uh watching movies uh you know playing with my switch and um playing this stupid, you know, gotcha game, you know, like those games on your phone where you, um, basically, uh, like, you know, grind for resources to open loot boxes and sometimes buy special in-game currency to get the loot boxes to get that, like, special character, but yeah, I, I played that a lot, actually, um, and I was just playing all these games and, you know, just consuming and scrolling, you know, scrolling the internet and basically doing jack shit. And, you know, it kind of felt good for a little bit. It was definitely like a good escape from the pain 
and you know oh, oh yeah by the way i you know because i was depressed uh well i basically lost all willpower to you know control myself so uh <laughs> I fucking failed uh, No Nut November, uh, you know, five times. So, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much out of the question now. Um, but anyways, yeah, and it kind of made me feel a little bit better because uh, it was like, it kind of like helped me not focus on the back pain. And I guess, you know, like that rush of dopamine that you get when you're doing something that you find really comfy. Like I was doing basically a lot of the comfy activities, a lot of the things that I would probably do if I was a full on, you know, lay down and rot type of neat. Um, and wasn't, you know, into the self-improvement stuff or trying to escape it. Um, I was doing all that stuff and yeah, I feel like the dopamine kind of has like a numbing effect. Maybe that's what it is, or maybe it's just the fact that your attention is so focused away from the thing that is making you feel bad that it's kind of like a temporary temporary escape. But after a while, you know, the nice feelings, they start to wear off. And it's like, it's not like drugs where it's like, for example, if you're not getting the same dose, you're not getting the same high, you can, um, you can, um, what's it called? You can just take like a higher dose of whatever the drug is, like weed or I don't know, weed, you know, heroin, not that I've taken that or anything. Uh, I don't know, cocaine, I guess. Um, and all these things and with the internet and video games and media, I think, I guess the only equivalent to that is, you know, looking for novel stimulus, novel, novel stimuli, uh, like for example, new movies of a different genre that maybe like a spin on a genre that you've never seen before, you know, maybe a really well written character, a well written plot, or if it's a video game, it's like, Maybe it's like a hybrid genre that, you know, you haven't played before or maybe like something that you haven't like played for played in a while. Like, for example, I was pretty much bored to death of JRPGs, but because I haven't played them for so long, you know, I I, I bought uh, Dragon Quest 11 on the Switch. And well, you know, it was it was nice for a little bit. It was nice, like grinding and like or XP and like looking at like the cool animations and just, you know, immersing yourself in a world which is, you know, a lot nicer than, but not reflective of reality. And well, but you know, even though, but eventually even that wore off because I got bored of that. And that's the thing. It's like, there's only so much things you can really create in this world uh so many there's only so many variations and i feel like human civilization human mankind as at the point especially with the information age and the pro proliferation of all these different technologies that we basically basically are nearing our zenith as a species at least in terms of artistic creativity maybe more of that might be unlocked when things like ai come into play and maybe like you know, Neuralink, neural interfacing and how that will expand our brains. But basically what I'm trying to say is that there's only so much types of media that we can currently create. So um, basically pretty much every JRPG is pretty much the same when it comes down to it. Every MOBA, every Battle Royale game, you know, every horror movie, every every um rom rom-com every you know every type of media is pretty much the same so it just starts to get really boring especially when you start to you know pick up on all of the underlying you know commonalities all the underlying structures and patterns that that are beneath all of the media that we consume and um yeah so because of that 
you know, it just started to feel really boring. But, you know, you'd still get kind of that little bit of a dopamine hit by consuming. Well, I would at least while I was depressed, but it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. And, um, well, because of that, uh, it started to not, uh, you know, started to not really help me and I started to feel really down again. I was just basically mindlessly consuming media just to keep me at a baseline of, you know, just being okay and not, you know, you know, uh, obsessing over thoughts of how my back is fucked and how I'm going to be disabled and how I'll probably never, you know, do all the things that I want to do, like all the MMA stuff. Cause like you can't really do MMA with like a bad back because there's a lot of grappling and, you know, getting thrown on the mat and, you know, getting hit, getting kicked. But, uh, you know, I guess thankfully because of the vitamin pill, uh, maybe, uh, because, um, I, I don't know. Also, you know, eventually because I just felt so empty, I started to try and, um, look for things that I eventually, you know, could have control over. And, um, I guess, you know, taking my supplements was one because I stopped taking those for a while. So taking that is one and also just doing, you know, ab exercises, researching what could possibly be wrong with um, my lower back. And um, I eventually, you know, came across, um, you know, all the stuff about anterior pelvic tilt, which is where like your your basically your lower back is too tight because your glutes are weak and your lower abs are weak. So I started doing those exercises and I don't know what it was, but you know, my back pain started to get better little by little, or maybe I just learned to ignore it and went back to like my baseline of being of like emotional normalness. So because of that, I was able to slowly climb out of being depressed and I'm still slightly depressed but it's pretty much almost gone now but yeah uh i basically you know fell off the wagon completely and utterly um i was basically not doing anything for the past two or three weeks anything productive um and i guess you know i guess a lot of progress was lost because you know it, it consistency is pretty much key with anything so yeah i basically fell off the wagon pretty hard and um yeah but i guess on a positive note um you know i am trying i'm trying to get back into this stuff and um you know you know i'm starting to uh get back to a lot of my i guess quote unquote good habits and i guess some people might be wondering why I even bother doing this stuff like why bother when life is um, I guess meaningless and you know I, I do agree that it is meaningless but at the end of the day if you're able to fool yourself into thinking that things matter and it makes you feel less bad while you're alive and you know that's if you're you know too afraid to kill yourself which is basically 99% of people because we're all slaves to our biology our biological imperatives so you know I am like that I don't think I'll ever kill myself because I'm too afraid of the pain and I'm too afraid of not existing even though that might be nice who knows um, but yeah it's just my cope I guess and you know I do find that when I do try and do productive things like make music or practice guitar or MMA. Um, if I do that for a while, the comfy activities sort of regain their comfiness. Whereas if you just consume and consume and consume, then they, they sort of start to lose their, their luster, their enjoyableness. So I feel like it's kind of like striking that balance, I guess, like maybe I do this productive stuff so that the, comfy activities like watching video games i'm watching tv playing video games i'm more comfy um but yeah i guess i don't know why it's going with this um but yeah uh yeah i apolog uh, apologize for you know disappearing like that uh i think i also came to a lot of realizations 
in during this time that I'll probably be talking about. Uh, you know, and also, uh, I guess, you know, uh, you know, like Legendary Comeback, he's another YouTuber. I'm pretty sure we have like a 90% overlap in our subscribers. But anyways, if you haven't checked him out, check out his, um, uh, what's it called? A Miserable Neat Life video, which is, um, which is, I guess, he makes a lot of good points. I kind of watched it while I was, you know, on the verge of coming out of depression. And they, I, I think he makes a good point that, you know, like, all you can really do is self-improve, I guess. I think, personally, I think it's probably the best cope because, as he mentions, like, what else can you really do apart from trying to improving to try, apart from trying to improve yourself because um yeah i mean i don't know maybe it just works for people like us and for a certain subset of the population but i mean you know i don't know why not try like if life is meaningless then you're free to create your own meaning i guess i'll probably talk about this in another video um but yeah, anyways, I'm probably rambling, uh, trying to keep the, uh, the minute, the, what's it called? The, the, uh, what's it called? The video time short and concise. Um, also I'm kind of tiring from talking because I haven't done this very consistently in a while. So I kind of have to like, uh, build up that endurance again, I guess, or whatever. But anyways, uh, this is company neat. Signing out, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this content and peace.